Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to week four, the final week of the Declutter Challenge. This has been a month long collaboration with a whole bunch of YouTubers and each week we've done a playlist of videos of decluttering different areas of the house and I will link this week's playlist in the description box below because this week the challenge was to declutter the laundry slash utility room or basement. Now I live in the UK we don't have basements. I don't know why we don't. It seems like a terrible waste of space. I have all this space underneath me. I don't know, but we haven't got them. So laundry utility room, it's a stretch to call it a room. It's basically a cupboard, but it has a tumble dryer and a washing machine and then kind of cleaning stuff and boiler in it. It's actually, you're not gonna believe this, already organized. I have an organized room in my house. Who would have thought it? I do. So what I'm gonna do instead um, is a little bit of a clean of it. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour just so you can see what's in here, but I will link the video to where I organized it and decluttered it up above and probably down in the description box as well. Let's have a little look-see. Okay, so this is the inside of the room. We have the washing machine at the bottom, a tumble dryer on top of that, and then washing powder, bags, iron and things stacked on the top, and then a little ironing board down the side. Coming around, we have the boiler, and then we have this little broom and uh, shopping bag holder on the wall, which has got mops and things like that on it. So lovely and organized and nice and clean, eh? But take a look under the surface and ew. To be honest, this drawer I very rarely even open. I only use it to put stain remover stuff in because I put the washing stuff straight in the drum, but it needs a good clean. It's bleh, disgusting. So I'm just going to give it a good soak and a good clean. There are lime scaly marks at the top of the three trays. Those marks I can't get off. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, I'm just going to get off the soap scum and grime and yuckiness. Just with a little scrubber and then a toothbrush and then do the inside as well. I'm realistic about what I can do in here. I'm not going to move the tumble dryer to clean the top of the washing machine. I'm not going to pull all the machines out to clean underneath. I'm just going to live in blissful ignorance of whatever is underneath these machines and just clean what I can actually reach. Now it's clean on the outside, I'm going to give it a clean on the inside. I've got a Dr. Beckman Service It washing machine cleaner, cleans, freshens and maintains. It's a dirt magnet. Gosh. To be honest, I briefly read the instructions. I think I was supposed to do other things, but I just squirted it in and put it on a 60 degree wash. What can go wrong? So while the washing machine is cleaning, I will have a look at the tumble dryer. Again, all looks clean on the outside, but open the filter. It's not so clean, is it? No. And that's inside. Feels like it could catch fire any moment. So we're going to give it a good clean out. The actual filter itself, I ran a hose through it outside to get all the dust out, but I didn't press play on the camera, so I can't show that to you. Whoopsies. Slightly gutted that I did this after I cleaned the washing machine because then I tipped a load of dust and fluff onto the washing machine and had to clean it again. So that's a lesson learned. And there we go shiny and clean on the inside, just as they are on the outside, much nicer. Now just a general clean for the rest of the room so it is as clean on the outside as it is on the inside. And that's it, my beautifully clean and already organized utility room. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press like, please subscribe to see more. Don't forget to check out the playlist of all the other videos that is linked below and I will see you very soon. Bye.